the morning of day three. We uh, came in last night at, or yesterday afternoon, into uh, the Lost Mountain Shelter where we tented. And it, uh, it's a nice little area. A lot of room for tents. We had our supper over there. It started raining about uh, sometime over in the night. It was sprinkling right as we went to bed, and then it kind of quit, and then later. It's just been this slow rain most of the night. <clears throat> Fortunately, everything stayed dry. But I just packed up all my inside stuff and went up to the shelter. There were two guys that were up there, and uh, they were already awake, so we just... I'm going to take my stuff, um, I did take my stuff all up there, I'm going to pack it up under the roof. And I'm going to try to get down here and take the inside of my tent down without getting everything wet. <coughs> Yesterday we, uh, I can't even remember how many miles we got. Must have been around 10. Today we're shooting for another a little over 10 and get to an area right before the ponies. We don't want to stay in, well, we're going to stay in a meadow. But there are a lot of reports of the ponies chewing on tents and chewing on the cork handles of the um, trekking poles. So we're not going to go that far. We'll just, it may be nine and a half, maybe 10. Stop just short of that area. I don't need anything chewing a hole in my tent. <clears throat> Messing up my height. So that's the plan for today. Uh, this is supposed to clear out around lunchtime. The rain. I hope it does. I don't feel like walking in the rain today and it's cool. It's really cool. I stayed really warm last night. I didn't have the trouble I had the night before. I don't, it didn't get as cold. Plus, I started off with all my, most of my stuff on anyway. And I didn't have to worry about getting cold. All right, well, I'll catch you on down the trail. All right, we've already left the shelter, Lost Mountain Shelter area. We tended there, and we're headed to, I think, Deep Gap, which is about 10 miles or a little over. It has stopped raining, and uh, just anything that's coming down now is just dripping off the trees. But it's muddy and slippery. It's not terrible though. There are two other guys that stayed there. Gump and uh, Sunshine, I think his name was. Pretty trail this morning. Even with it wet, it's like a rainforest feel. Its roots are slippery. We've got about 10 miles. Uh, we've got a 2,000 foot climb, I think, two or 3,000, I can't remember. First thing this morning, we've got to handle that, and then after that, I think it's easier. Hopefully we won't have much trouble with it. It's cool out this morning. I've got my rain jacket on. I'll take a little of the chill off. It's pretty comfortable. It's real thin. Just enough to keep a little body heat in. Alright, I'll check with you later. This is where we considered coming last night. It was another two miles. A mile and a half. It's a pine grove. And right down there was a campsite. Looked alright. Didn't look like a great place to hang a bear bag though. That would have been problematic. Where we were had a bear box. We didn't have to string a line. 
That was so awesome. Don't mind us. We're just, just passing through. Well, I thought I was gonna stop over here. But I think I'll probably wait a little bit. <laughs> nice. You have some milk for us this morning? No? We won't. Move on. Move. Ha! Ah. I don't want you kicking my butt. That's quite far enough. Oof, that's muddy. <coughs> Watch the mud slick. Yeah. And poop slick. You can stay there. You're far. Far enough away. Get a little signal. We were able to hide behind a rock. The wind's blowing really fierce and <clears throat> it's just super cold. So we hid behind a large rock and made a few phone calls and just to touch base with some family members we hadn't talked to. Let them know we're all right. So we had come back down a piece. Now it looks like we're going back up a little bit. This cold wind has my nose running. Already have allergy problems, so it's really been running. Got across there. We've been admiring the little communities down in the valleys, think, saying how nice it would be to live in one of them. You never know, we might one day. <clears throat> Only footprints we've been seeing are the I think the ones of the guys that were at the Lost Mountain Shelter last night. A couple of through hikers. I'm so glad we're in a spot where the wind is not blowing. It's cold and piercing. The 
because we've got this of course the wind starts picking up as soon as I said that kind of shielded by that part of the mountain alright let's see it says 50 feet okay so maybe it's taller than <clears throat> I don't know but it sounds hilarious there's water flowing out down there Watch the flow gets. Or maybe it must, maybe there's a reservoir in here, and then as it goes. Yeah. I want to look. So funny. It does sound like a tractor. Yeah, I guess a little air gets in it. That's so funny. Okay, yeah, there's a, wow, it's coming out good. Yeah. That's hilarious. Just stop for a break, get us a little snack to eat. It is still chilly. Sun has been peeking in some today, but not a whole lot. <clears throat> These winds that keep kicking up are really chilly. Well, we've got about three miles left to um, where we're planning to stop tonight at Deep Gap. Or somewhere around that area. It's been a hard day. <clears throat> Climbing White Top Mountain was killer. And we were both zapped. This is the third day. This is when we're really feeling the muscle aches. We'll pick back up in a couple of days. We'll be feeling good. We had a lot of rocks to climb over about a half mile back. It's kind of surprising. Wasn't expecting that. But it was fun. As much fun as climbing over rocks can be. It's different. That's what makes it cool. All right. Talk to all for now. Look, they've got all these taps in the maple trees. Okay, one more mile to stop at Deep Gap or around about that area. And we're beat. Beat down, trodden. Low. We're moving at a better clip now that it's a little, it's not uphill. <clears throat> By the way, I've been finding some ramps. That wild oniony, garlicky tasting thing. Oh, I'll show you something in a minute when I see it. Oh, there they are. I already picked a few. I'm going to add to my supper tonight. Give it a little flavor. Hopefully. I'm looking forward to supper. 